I'm uh, Rob White, uh, professional MMA fighter in Reed Academy, Team G4, Cincinnati, Ohio, 61. You know, the UFC was always my goal once I chose to pursue a fighting career. Um, the ultimate fighter is almost like the icing on the cake, you know. Uh, it's just a huge opportunity and you know like almost every fighter anywhere uh, if given opportunity want to go into the ultimate fighting tough house because of the fan base that creates for you right off the bat and because you get all that that time just to focus strictly on training um and just that that platform and opportunity to become the best fighter you can be preparing for these tryouts and training i've been um first off for the first time in my whole career, I uh, I actually have a personal trainer and a nutritionist who they you know they set out a meal plan for me and they got my diet on point specific for me and you know I feel great. My weight is actually right now I'm about 173, 174, but I'm eating full meals and getting lots of hydration, which is something that I I really slacked at in the past because I really didn't have that guidance. Um, but I've been training three times a day, which consists of uh, a strength and conditioning session, a strict cardio session, and then um, martial art techniques, sparring, uh, jiu-jitsu drilling as far as that. So, really taking it up a notch for this opportunity. What drives me to train as hard as I do is just a passion for me. You know, like, for a lot of your life, you know, sometimes you find things you're good at and sometimes you don't know. You're trying different things out and sometimes people never find something that they truly love or are truly good at. And for me, that's MMA. You know, I didn't discover it till I was 24. Um, but once I did, I just, yeah, it just consumed me, you know, and it's something that I just was good at. You know, it, it just, I'm just good at it. It comes natural and I work really hard at it. Uh, Outside of that, too, is, you know, like, I just want something that my daughters and, you know, my wife and my families and friends can be proud of. You know, I just, just chasing after a dream, I guess, you know, and I, I work so hard at it because I want that dream to be realized, and I know that's what it's going to take to make it um, a realization. So. I train out of Reed Academy MMA. Um, we're actually like two teams, Team G Force, which we actually just joined with. It was a separate team, and now we're one team training together. Uh, coaches are uh, Charles Reed, uh, Ron Gableman, Sean Meyer, John Meyer, a uh, ton of other people who are like instructors, um, John Dingledon, you know, like that actually teach the classes and train the stuff. But I would say the head coaches are uh, Charles, Ron, Sean, and John. Um, with over 30 years of martial arts experience between the, the, all of them. Um, our lineage, who they actually go out and train with in LA and stuff, and John Jack uh, Machado, who is a red, black belt and legend of Jiu Jitsu, uh, girl Dan and Asanto, uh, you know, who is a legend of martial arts, who was one of three students under Bruce Lee. Um, teammates, I don't know if. I'll name specific people, but just, you know, everybody's a great team. We have, uh, I want to say, like, maybe 10 or 12 professional fighters now who are very competitive, who are in the gym all the time. We have a bunch of amateurs, and everybody just really determined, works hard, and wants to see each other succeed. Support for this opportunity has been incredible. Um, I know people kind of follow me, and they express interest, and uh, I know, like, that they, they seem uh, interested in my mixed martial arts career before this. But since I posted on like Facebook and social media that I was going out to Vegas to try out for this, it just, the overwhelming majority of support, it really has been humbling. You know, like sometimes like, I like tear up when I think about, you know, people messaging me and saying, you know, I believe in you or, you know, people sending money, you know, not necessarily because there's necessity, but because they want to be a part of the dream and the success. and. Uh, the support to get me out there to try this and because they believe in me you know uh, I had a my cousin Rob found out about it and he purchased my my uh, flight out to Vegas you know so people have just overwhelmingly supported me my the where I currently work my job you know uh, which is a big issue with a lot of people not knowing if they can get off work you're making the house you got to be off for six weeks 
I was very concerned that I was going to have to resign again from another job to take this opportunity. And he said, you know, we love what you do as a cop. We love you as a person even more. So we're going to give you the six weeks off and leave of absence. And when you come back, you'll have a job here for you, which is just incredible, you know. So I've had a, a ton of overwhelming support. A spot on the Ultimate Fighter to me is the realization of a dream. It, it would be the accumulation of all the sacrifice, the hard work, the hours away from my family, um, the resigning from a job, everything, the payoff, you know, like that it was all for a reason, you know, like that you can dream and that you can work hard and that you can become what you want to be in life. Uh, and even though that would be a realization, making it into the house for me would only be the beginning. Um, even, you know, like that's what I want right now and that's what my focus is, is doing my best getting in the house. But once I'm there, that isn't the I've made it point, you know, that's the I've made it to be more. I've made it to this point to become more uh, than I ever thought I could be, you know, so. Um, a little bit about my backstory. You know, I, uh, married, wife, two kids, three and one years old. I, um, I started off, uh, backstory. I started off in my career in law enforcement at the age of 18, and where I got hired at a sheriff's office as a correction officer. Um, I worked in corrections for four and a half years, and then I went through a police academy and got hired by a police department to work road patrol. Um, again, I, I went through another patrol academy to get to work for that department, and when I was going through that patrol academy is when I discovered ground fighting, which was, you know, two, late 2008, early 2009. Um, once my passion for uh, jiu-jitsu and wanting to protect myself on the streets, I went to a MMA school, just not necessarily to train to fight. I just wanted to become more competent to protect myself just in case I had to fight somebody on the streets, which I just happened to be really good at the ground fighting and training and stuff. And I looked for an opportunity to test myself as an amateur in an MMA fight, just to see, you know, you're working hard and you want to know if all that skill pay off if you ever needed it. Uh, so I, I had my first fight in 2010 after I trained for a year, you know, like a year and a half to step into the cage and addicted, you know, like you get into the cage, all that, all those people there, everybody's cheering for you, you get in a fight, you get punched in the face for the first time, you get that adrenaline rush and then, you know, like my first fight, I TKO'd the guy in the third round, it was a really exciting fight and then I just remember that feeling, that gratification of all the hard work paying off then and you know I was hooked you know and that's when I knew that this is what I wanted to be and this is what I wanted to do so I um had that fight in 2010 I was an amateur for two years and I fought eight times and then in 2012 late 2012 December I had my first professional fight um, with Bellator of all places you know coming off of a a loss, which that, that opportunity was huge. It actually shaped what I think is my professional career. Um, and then the rest is history, you know, six and one and headed to try out for the UFC and Awesome Fighter. The message I have for my fans and supporters is thank you, you know, and thank you for all the support. Uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, I'm training and working as hard as I can every day. Um, and not so much as this is only about me, this is about you guys too, this is about my family, this is about everybody, it's not just me succeeding, it's all of us succeeding and I truly feel that way 100%, you know, because I couldn't do this without my family or without my teammates or without my friends or without my family, so when I make it, we all make it. When I get the opportunity, we all get the opportunity and that's what I want, I want everybody to share in the success, I want everybody to be proud of me and I just want to do well and represent for everybody who believes in me.